Hey uh, folks, so today I want to see if I can't talk about some uh, speakers we have for uh, mostly Game Boy Advance. That's basically what I'm going to be focusing on today, but it should apply to just about every other model here. I've got a few selections in front of me. I've got the one on screen right now, the new Funny Playing speaker. Um, I've got a stock Game Boy Advance speaker. I've got the uh, popular aftermarket janky one watt, you know, cheap generic speaker. We're going to start with this one because that one's literally already soldered on. Um, and I also have a Game Boy Advance SP speaker, and I'll have to pull it apart later, but there's a DS Lite speaker in this one. Uh, so we're going to compare all five of these speakers and see... Um, you know, is there a big difference between the two, between the lot of them? Um, I've already done quite a few modifications to this Game Boy Advance to try and uh, eliminate variables for the testing here, such that this is my prototype with the uh, push button power switch. It's literally just stuck to the board with uh, blue tack, um, just to make it convenient. Uh, so a dirty power switch shouldn't influence our testing. Another thing I've done is I've installed a uh, volume uh, volume wheel bypass here, so it doesn't matter what setting this is on, it's always going to read as max volume, so we don't have to worry about that either. And I've just got installed a um, mostly working IPS kit, because uh, I feel that that'll better represent what most people are going to be using in their own consoles. Um, but before I do that, let me, uh, the game I'm going to be testing with is, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, mostly because I just really like the soundtrack in that game. Unfortunately, you have to hit a few buttons to get to start up, but let me plug in my power supply here, set that off to the side, turn it on, and then this is just going to be a, um, an example this one, this one isn't going to count. Not yet, anyway. And so we'll give the game a few seconds to start here, but let me just move this in the frame a little bit better. You can see, as I adjust this, it doesn't make any difference. You can also hear that it's really not that loud. I think... This Game Boy Advance itself needs some work. I don't really feel like doing that, but it was the best suited for this test, so it's what I'm going to use. And as long as nothing changes in between runs, I really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, but yes, a Game Boy should be louder than this. I don't know if it's the speaker. I don't think it is. I'm fairly certain I replaced this speaker because the Game Boy was quiet. But for... Uh, comparison. There's my other Game Boy. And then that one. So yeah, it's definitely quieter than it should be, but like I said, we're testing with the same one, so it should be pretty consistent throughout. Uh, one thing I am going to do before we begin testing is I've got quite a few of these new mods from Helder slash Retro 6. Um, what this is, for those that aren't aware, this is uh, Retro 6's solution to some of the audio buzzing issues on Game Boy Advance consoles, especially ones that are uh, that have IPS kits. Uh, Helder took that solution and made it significantly better by making an off-the-shelf part that you can just purchase and solder into your Game Boy Advance instead of having to gang up all these capacitors on top of capacitors. I really think Retro 6's implementation, they're, they call it, you know, this is this is the final product. I think that's really dumb. This is much closer to a final par product. I don't know if it's going to make any difference, but that's why I just did that baseline there. And then we can uh, get it installed and try it out again. So I'm going to pull this off here. Get a nice big old glob of solder on that. Nope. That's not going to happen. All right. I just don't know how to get this thing started. 
Oh, I guess that'll do. My solder dispenser fell over. Okay. Word of caution for someone installing these. Um, the soldering does seem pretty easy. I haven't gotten very far with it yet. You should definitely unhook all this junk when you're doing it. Also be very careful that you don't get any solder on the CPU pins because if you're the type that gets solder on pins like this and then panics, you're not going to be able to fix it. It is a relatively easy fix. You just need basically some flux. And that's about it, but it's still better to just avoid it entirely if you can. That is a terrible joint, but I can fix that. That is also a terrible joint. There we go. That's one. That's two. I forgot to do this joint, didn't I? I did. There we go. All done. So as someone who has dead bug wired components, like uh, Retro6 was suggesting, that was a much easier install. Not that the other one's difficult, but I'll take easier any day. I genuinely don't know how much these things cost. I've completely forgotten at this point. I've had this stuff on my desk for a while and I've been putting off doing videos. But let's try it out. That's on. Boot that up. I hear, I don't hear any difference. So as far as sound quality goes, this speaker is genuinely fine it's it's all right i don't i don't have any major problems with it the biggest issue in this particular case is that it is really quiet like i said i don't know if that's the game boy advance it could be um but i know that these speakers are often used with amplifier kits which i do not have an amp wired into this gb other than the stock amp at least i don't have uh another amp so Maybe this speaker is better with an amp. It probably is. Um, but if you're not using an amp, that's what we get. Uh, but instead of just taking my word for it, I've got one of these fancy things. So this is a, um, a sound meter, and it'll tell me in decibels what sound it's picking up. The um, background noise level in my apartment, I believe, is about 45 decibels. Of course, it's reading much higher right now because I'm speaking. If I stop speaking, it should quiet. Yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this about, I guess, I guess I can't really set it that far away because then you won't be able to see it in the video. Um, let's... Uh, Zoom out and you can see some more of my messy desk here. If I set that over there, you can just barely see it still. And then I'll... I guess I'll just hold that up. And that's... For reference, let's see how far that is.
Now I know it's a little bit close, but let's be honest, most of you put you guys most most of you put your Game Boy right up to your face anyway. So it should be fine. That is approximately 25 centimeters. Or for the Imperial folk, 10 inches, give or take. So let's can you see that? I can't actually see my phone. Move that over just a bit. Alright. And I'm gonna not talk to not mess up this reading. So uh here goes nothing. Oh, go figure. This time it didn't boot. Oh, what the fuck? Why aren't you booting now? It was working perfectly fine. A few minutes ago. Go figure. Technical difficulties. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. It's working now. It is... slightly further away. But that's fine. I'll keep that same distance in mind. It's about ten and a half inches now instead of ten. All right, so it seems to hover around 54-ish to uh, I saw it go as high as 58. I don't even think my meter picks up that main menu music. It is not loud. Okay. So now let me kill that, and let's try another speaker here. So this was just stuck down with poster putty. Alright, so next up we're going to try a stock speaker. Now this one's not in the best condition. It does have a little bit of a gunk in there, but I'm not too worried about it. I feel, worst case scenario, it's a good representation of a stock Game Boy, because it is a... because it is. It's a stock speaker. Though this is a wee bit on the uh, best case scenario scale of things, because this is outside of a case uh, so there's no restriction from the uh, case speaker grill. Uh, this is also... Sorry, I'm just removing all the little wire leftovers. Um, yeah, like I said, best case scenario because no restriction from the case. And uh, 
I bypassed the speaker wheel. I should do this one first. Hopefully that speaker works. I suppose we'll find out in just a moment. Approximately the same way. Plug this back in. And turn that on. And here goes nothing. Oh wait, let's before I do that. Yep, same distance. All right, so after testing these two this far, I think I'm gonna have to modify my uh, my testing methodology here. Because unfortunately this is barely picking that up. This is just too quiet, even though this is more of a realistic representation of how you listen. Yeah, I think I'll have to do like three inches instead. I lay this flat. Set that right there. It is all of six centimeters or two and a half inches. the damn thing shut off. Ugh. All right, so I'll try and use two benchmarks here. The highest I saw it go is 65, and then on this main menu music, it looks like it goes up to 54. Just kidding, 56. Okay, so let's try that first speaker again. Um, 
I really don't think I have to comment on the sound quality for this one. It's a stock speaker. You guys all know how those sound. It's, this is the baseline for our test here. Solder these down again. All right, there we go. Should stick that down. Stops rattling around. All right. What does it say? Six centimeters and two and a half inches. Start that over. I forgot to turn the thing on. All right, so I'd say this speaker is actually a hair quieter. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. I think it's mostly negligible. Oh God. Shouldn't have done that. Um, that does not stick very well, unfortunately. I have to peel this tape off. I suppose I can do that. The screen's all messed up anyway. All right. Stop moving around. There we go. Let's try next speaker. Now I suppose we'll go ahead and try out... No, I'll try out the uh, SP speaker. Why not? Wait, I can just pull the wires off of this. It'll make testing easier.
That is not a joint I'm proud of, but it is solid. I think, let's double check that. Yeah. So this is an SP speaker, which I am actually quite fond of. I normally don't use them in Game Boy Advance mods, but you know, so be it. All right, here we go. All right, so this one did sound a little bit louder to me, but looking at the numbers, it looks to be just about the same as the other two. Um, sound quality, again, it's a stock Game Boy Advance speaker. You know how it sounds. Sounds fine to me. I don't think there's any appreciable difference. So let's move on to the next one. So this is the funny playing speaker. I don't remember what the deal is with this one either. I'm sorry, I've had it on my desk way too long at this point because I've been putting off videos. And because I did my signature amount of preparation for a video, but we'll make it work. I haven't looked at any other reviews of these things, um, but I still have heard stuff in passing. And I've heard that they are not as good as OEM speakers, but since they look better, if you're going for a clear build, then it's still obviously the speaker of choice.
Well, there you have it. Same as the other ones. So, sound-wise, I mean, it even sounds the same as the rest of them. Now, granted, this wasn't a very thorough test, and with how freaking quiet this thing is, it's hard to say anyway. But, sounds fine to me. Um, apparently, I'm in the minority here because I spend most of my time playing uh, with the sound off. Um, I'm usually in places where it would be inconsiderate to be playing with sound on, so I just don't play with sound. And I, y you just do that for so long you get used to it, you forget that the things even have sound. Um, so my general preference is usually just turn the volume down and leave it there. But there you go. I would say it is nice having a uh, a drop-in speaker, though, instead of, oh, magnets. How do they work, man? Um, yeah, it is nice having a drop-in speaker because you notice this one has the little notch down there for the uh, Game Boy Advance shell. It's in the same style as the OEM speakers. Should have the same spacing and everything. Um, so yeah, it is nice that we have a drop-in now instead of this generic, mediocre one. But as far as the sound quality goes, I'm, I remain unconvinced. Um, but let's, just to cover our bases, try one more thing here. And that's going to be the speaker out of this thing, because taking this apart is going to be significantly easier than taking apart a DS Lite. Well, on the flip side, there are actually more screws. So you may recognize this Game Boy Advance from that video where I did the uh, power meter, or that video where I did the uh, tactile buttons. Don't recommend it, by the way. It's a half-baked mod. I know it's my own mod, and I shouldn't say that, but whatever. It is what it is. There is another part to that mod that I was going to complete, but just never did, because this is a hobby for me, and sometimes that happens with hobbies. Try and pop the screws out. Man, this shell is all sorts of cracked. That is, I guess it's time for a new one. Unfortunately, with how custom it is, it's easier said than done. Oh, speaking of custom. Oh good, there's no screw down there. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. So I took a little bit of an unconventional approach with the speaker in this Game Boy Advance, which, by the way, it has a DS Lite speaker, not because I like the DS Lite speakers better, but because I had a Game Boy that I wanted to keep stock in, it needed a speaker, and this one had a perfectly good speaker, so bippity-boppity. Guess where I got that from. Alright, so I'm gonna unplug that. I think that'll make this easier. Or, alternatively, let's just pop this out. It shouldn't go anywhere. It's all wired up. Yep, there we go. And then I just took this speaker, this spring from a Nerf gun, the magnet holds it in place, and then that presses against the board to keep the speaker in place. Can't say I recommend it, but hey, it worked. 
Oh, I completely forgot about that. I was wondering why that was so sticky. Might work on that today since I have this open. Okay. Get this out of here. Some crusty joints. And let's solder in our last victim here. Set that somewhere I'm not going to get magnets stuck to it. Or other speakers magnetically stuck to it. Yes, speakers have a polarity. One wire is red, one wire is back. No, the polarity does not matter when you're only wiring in one speaker. Oops. It's a little hot. Six centimeters. Let's try it out. Oh, don't do this to me again, really. I'm a piece of junk. One of these is dirty, and I don't know which. And have to actually properly clean it at some point. God damn it. I think it's the Game Boy. Then again, there was literally something in there this time. Technical difficulties once again. All right, I think it's the game. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go clean this. All right, I think it was the Game Boy, not the game, but they're both working. So I'm gonna gently set that down, set my distance, try it one more time. All right, here goes nothing.
All right, so there you have it. This is actually a downgrade. At least in this Game Boy. Well, if loudness is your only metric, I guess it was a downgrade. Uh, solder joints are all fine, so... I don't know what it was. When I installed this in my other Game Boy originally, the, uh, this one here that I just took apart for it, I genuinely thought this speaker was louder than the original one. And it very well could have been. But according to my sound meter, it does not. Or my decibel meter. That's not off. That's off. Okay. So, I guess conclusion time. This whole video basically was to uh, talk about that new speaker from Funny playing this one here. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's certainly good. If you want, like, more technical audio comparisons, um, you know, like I... I can't really set up a more quiet area than what I already have. I already made sure to run the cooler and then just turn it off so it wouldn't kick on for this video. Um, I suppose I could shut off my desktop computer right next to me. That would probably get rid of some of the ambient noise. Let's try it out. Yeah, not much. Not much at all. Uh, it's not a very loud computer except when I'm uh, touching the keyboard and doing stuff with it. Um, that's basically the best I've got. Uh, hopefully the audio came through on the video alright and you can try and compare that way, but there's just... I mean, it's a Game Boy. You're not going to get good audio out of it no matter what you do. There's only so much that you can get out of this thing. Um, and I don't think... This is just a long-winded way of saying don't buy one of these if you're looking for better sound. It's not going to give you better sound. What it is going to give you is it's going to give you good sound if your original speaker is garbage or if you have a clear shell and you want something that looks better in a clear shell because, well, maybe not necessarily better, but more unique because... Every Game Boy looks like this, but your Game Boy can look like this. You know how it is. Um, but anyway, I guess that's all I've got for this video now. Um, sorry, I guess. It's been a little while since I uploaded. I generally upload every three or four days, sometimes even sooner, more frequently, and I just haven't lately. Um, life gets in the way this is don't forget guys this is literally just a hobby for me i make no money off of this i have a day job that i focus all of my effort into and when i'm feeling stressed either from my day job or from a hobby i go do other things um and lately this hobby has been relatively stressful for me so i've just been putting it off um sorry it is what it is i'll try and keep uploading videos when i can but they're going to become more uh, more sparse, I guess. There's going to be more time between my uploads just because I, I don't feel like putting in the effort anymore. It doesn't... It's, not, it's, it's just not doing it for me the same way it was a year ago, uh, as it were. Um, so, sorry, but that's what it is. I'm here. I'm okay. I'm just not doing as many videos as I used to, and that's, that's the new... Uh, that's what we're that's what I'm doing going forward. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. I know it was a super long one, looking at 48 minutes so far, and I'm probably gonna ramble for another two. But um I'll keep putting out videos, but just you know, on my time. 
anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night. Catch you next time.